Mine, mine has just decided he's he's this done with this. Over. Hello, and welcome to Kyber Shards, a 5th edition actual play show set in the Eberron campaign world. This episode is brought to you by the House Jurosco Enclave in Stormreach. The best healthcare you can afford. Uh. Uh, R.A., what happened last time? What happened last time was, um, everyone else messed up except me. Uh... <laughs> Wow. Uh, Ezri was a cloud while everyone else was getting murderized. Um, and he he abandoned his uh, his his Aww. foray into the uh, smuggler basement to pop inside and uh, participate in the fight uh, which was going kind of bad and then turned pretty drastically pretty quickly um, and a bunch of uh, a bunch of, well, a couple of bilge rats uh, ran away. Well, one of them went to the basement. We're not sure exactly if that what that means. Uh, one ran uh, out the door. A couple got killed. Uh, one got saved from being killed, though may not be too happy upon waking. Uh, and Shade had... Uh, <laughs> got her finger pricked and um got got hurt real bad and is is delirious and um no longer diseased Sleepy. but uh not in good shape and so we are searching for some illegal crates uh to to show off for the uh authorities just gonna go and check off neutralize security and attract watch from our to-do list because <laughs> I don't think we've attracted Delicious. the watch yet. We've attracted leave further Polycar. build rats. I mean, and leave why Polycar. not both? <clears throat> okay. All right. So we are here in the build rat warehouse. Uh, the halfling Tialet disappeared down this staircase, and you looked there and found lots of rats. Uh, and so you've come back up. Um, you've you've opted for nope uh, on the hundreds of rats and have come back up here. So what are we doing? We're looking. Um, so that's going to be investigation. Mm -hmm. Investigation check, please. I'm actually, so where, where is one of the bodies? Uh, boy, where isn't, um, <laughs> the, Valid. the horribly maimed guy is here, right? There's he's alive. an unconscious. Yeah, there's, there's an unconscious person here. Okay, there's also a body alive. here. There's a body here. Oh, good. There's a body uh, right next. There's one up on the catwalk. Um, so you didn't have to save the horribly maimed guy whose life is I, now. You weren't supposed to kill them. <laughs> if we could help, if we could help it. And just I checking. It. Just checking. Um, okay. Which which one of these corpses over here by the stairs is the least hor no the most horrifying um the one that was trying to stab you is quite charred okay uh You're i'm welcome. gonna i'm just gonna kneel down by it for a minute okay okay i rolled a 21 investigation so wow. did i, I rolled an investigation <clears throat> with a disadvantage and got a 12 mm -hmm. it's just it's just a lot of walking around <laughs> to investigate stuff. <laughs> um, so, Hog and Ari, uh, looking about here, um, a lot of these crates are full of just general trade goods. There's some spices and some bolts of cloth, um, various non-perishable food items. 
Um, there's a, a big crate of shoes uh, and some clothing. Uh, there's lots and lots of pretty mundane trade goods um, here. Uh, there are a few uh, what look like exotic animal pelts that might be from the interior. Um, but it's all Anything... it's all pretty normal trade goods. Nothing I missing think... a stamp. I think uh, we have to go to the basement. In fact, everything up here has a stamp. We gotta go downstairs. Everything bad is gonna be down there. The yeah. bad that we need and just bad. I... Uh, Philip, will you let me know when that minute's over? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would take them a minute to to look through this. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's you doing there? Uh, so the corpse rises. Oh, right. Um... And I'd say to it, stay there. Is there anything to write with? Or yeah. like, like, is there paper and, and pencil somewhere in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and quickly scribble down, like, the address of where we are. Or, you know, somehow indicate this building. Uh, I don't know what the system of address is here. Sure. You can indicate the location of this building. Probably okay, I'm gonna take that way. note back over to the corpse. And who who is who are the guards that we're supposed to alert in this area? Who would it be? Uh, they would be the city watch. Uh, city the city watch. Reach. Yeah. I will say, take this to a member of the city watch. We don't have what we need yet, Ezri. We're not ready yet. Okay. No, wait. Stay there. Okay, hurry. Point you two. You have to go downstairs. You made a zombie. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's technically a zombie. This I mean, is this is good. It first will get of their all, attention, no, won't it? No, wrong word. Wrong word, Pog. Not good. First of all, that? gross. Second of all, we can make him go into the basement first. No, we need him to get a member of the city watch. Well, why not both? Because we are running out of time. It, they're not. It's not very durable. Well, you can send him, but we have to go downstairs to find some of the bad stuff that we're supposed to have them find. Ari, no starts, heading to the, Ari right. starts heading to the stairs. Wade Wait here, also starts first. heading towards the Please. stairs. All right, so Ari going down the stairs, but, okay, shade, I'll, I'll hobbling stop, after. Wait five minutes, then go give this to a member of the City Watch. Is that a... a and I'll, that I'll light up. source right there at the top of the staircase, uh, that's a flame? Uh, yeah, it's a little lamp. Yeah, I'm gonna light a torch and go down the stairs as well. Okay, okay. stop going down the stairs. I could, um, I could talk to the rats, but it would take me at least ten minutes. I'm, I'm worried could, that we're about... I could talk to them and see what's down there. I think... He, he threw a torch down down the hole, right? I think that's what I could do. Is there is there anything I, that's gonna hurt us in the doorway here, guys? I mean, the door. I did you throw a torch down the hole? No, I'm holding the torch. Oh, you're holding on it. The okay, I thought you said you threw it. Yeah. Okay. I, seriously, I think maybe this time I go first. Okay. I can't nope. see, but I'll hand you the torch. Okay, cool. I I start walking right. down the stairs. Okay, there's a closed door. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought we opened that back up. Uh, I closed it. Yep. Uh, is there a handle on it? Mm -hmm. How does that work? I will... It's what poked me. I will hook the handle with my, my stick. Sure. Okay. Open. Oh, Pog just grabbed it to slam the door shut earlier. Uh, yeah, you managed to force the I've latch got, I've got with something your in both hands, so I can't. Okay. Uh, you I'll managed start. to force the, the latch open, uh, and the door swings wide, and you can see many, many beady eyes staring 
towards you and then begin skittering around on the floor. I'll turn the torch down towards them. They shy away from the flame. Okay. So I'll just I'll just walk down the stairs slowly like that. Okay. Uh, there are, I mean, the floor in here is crawling with rats, uh, but they do shy away from the flame wherever you wave it. I'll start just a few steps down. You're sure we need to go down here? It's rats. What? There's, there's nothing upstairs for us. Hog is following so, behind. This is bad information. This could be a very bad night. Uh, yeah, you come down this stairway, st- staircase here. Um, and you can see that there are more crates against the wall. Uh, there are sconces in here where one could light torches. Um, but in the in the shaking light of your torch, you can see that there are lots of crates on the wall, as well as several in the middle of the floor. There's a couple of really big barrels uh, over here, um, and there's a uh, a doorway over here, an open Ari, passageway over here. Ari using his telekinetic powers grabs a touch of flame from the torch and tosses it to the other torches using prestidigitation to light that's, that's the torches. Killer. That's killer. I love it. Uh, yeah. So, so. What is that called in Harry Potter? Nice. <laughs> uh, Lumos. Something well, in Latin. He's, he's got the thing that like takes the light lights away and then can send them. Oh, yeah. The dimmer. So investigate then. And yeah. start looking at those boxes on the north side of the wall. With all of the light, what happens to the rats? Do they scatter? They skitter off just... into the corners okay. um, and stare at you from the corners. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Investigation. Can some investigation again. I'll help this time. While they investigate, can I just grab a rat? You want to try to? Um, I'm actually, gonna... I want to send Cal to do it. Okay. Have Cal make an attack roll. Eighteen. Uh, Cal returns with a rat squeaking and struggling in his in his jaws, dingly by its tail. It's a big rat. It's about the size of a house cat. Oh, oh gross. My goodness. Okay. Whoa. Thank, thank you. I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. I, I rolled a 21 on investigation. Another 15. one. While they're investigating, I'm casting um, Speak with Animals on the rat. Okay. Um, so you, Pog, are digging around in here. Uh, you find a couple of things that do quite rapidly, uh, pique your interest. Um, these two barrels over here, uh, so first off, many of these things do not have the proper stamps. These two barrels over here, when you pry the lid off, are full of dragon shards. Whoa. Um, and you, coming from the Shadow Marches, and having some knowledge of um, of House Thrash, which does a lot of, ki- of um, dragon shard processing, you can tell that these dragon shards are processed, and you can see that they, they are processed to a very, very high quality, and the underside of the lid has the mark of House Thrashk on them. It has the, the dragon symbol of House Thrashk on them. Maybe not that. Um, what? Not what? Ari, uh, yeah. if you're, you had a 13? 15. 15. Uh, okay, so you pull the canvas off of these crates in the middle, uh, and they are very, very fine boxes, um, each of which is closed with a, a little clasp in the shape of the the Gorgon head of House Kenneth, 
Oh, cool. Um, for for viewers, a gorgon in D and D is not related to Medusa. A gorgon is a big iron bull. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what? and are these boxes locked? Uh, they're closed. You could try to open them if you wanted. Um. I'm sorry, that was the, the sigil for um, House, House Canneth. Canneth? C-A-N-N-I-T-H? I rolled an 11 Just investigation. House... Is that enough to have found anything? Um, nothing of note. Um, I got nothing. I think... <clears throat> I think... Either of these are good good enough um, evidence to, to show that they're bringing in Dragon Mart ho house items without giving the uh, the lords a cut and maybe that throws some heat onto the houses if they're involved with the bilge rats or they might have stolen them either way okay, but, so uh, everything they need to find is down here then yep okay great uh, I run back upstairs has, has the zombie left yet no no, I grab the pencil and add basement to the note. Okay, go, go. Are those doors on the uh, the farthermost side? <laughs> and it begins to <laughs> shamble away. Does he move faster than Ezri's fart cloud? Uh, slightly. And still the slowest thing in the game. And I'll tap the communicate. Come on, that's it, right? That's everything. Um, check my list. Find evidence of no cut to the storm lords. Are I'm we opening any boxes. Yeah, Ari's curiosity's gonna get the better of Ari. He's gonna open the can of crate. Uh, so this one is gonna walk over to see. Are those uh, are those doors at the southernmost side on the map there? Uh, it's just an the, opening. You can walk it through it. He's going to walk in that direction while Ari tries a box open. Okay. Um, so, Ari, make an intelligence check. Oh, okay. You didn't say Actually, I, I would <laughs> let you use investigation um, okay. to try and figure out how the box opens. 18. Uh, it takes you a minute, but after a minute, you realize that it's actually, you were making it a lot harder. Like House Canis is always making clever things. And so you were making it a lot harder than yourself. You're trying to turn the head back and forth uh, and you realize it's actually slightly whimsical. Uh, you just have to poke the, uh, poke the Gorgon in the eyes. Um, <laughs> the Ari, eyes. Ari did that out of, Ari did that out of frustration. He was like, <laughs> and, oh, and there's a pop <laughs> uh, and the head sort of tilts back and the, the crate uh, opens. Um, and it opens like a Borderlands loot chest. Yeah. Like it, uh, there's a hiss, and the head falls back, and then shelves pop Multiple out. Multiple shelves. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so, you, let me see. Um, what was your investigation check? An 18? 18. Okay. So, you don't know much of what any of these things are exactly, but you recognize the basics of them. Um, there's a whole bunch of tools here for, uh, for artifice work. Um, there are several schema, uh, which are essentially, um, magical blueprints, uh, for a variety of things, as well as some very strange and specialized looking tools, uh, in the, uh, in the crate, um, the exact function of which you do not know. Okay. But it's included some very specialized equipment um, in the, the first crate that you open. Um, Pog, coming in here, you find there are shelves lined with boxes, uh, as well as a, a whole bunch of more crates and some tables with chests on them. Can I investigate and see if any of them make me want to get into them? Sure. <laughs> 18. Uh, so... Digging around in here, 
Um, you find there are a couple of boxes that definitely contain some illicit substances. Um, and there's one crate uh, that you notice uh, that that a um, there's marks of a crate that's been dragged back out into the main room, and following it brings you to this single single crate sitting over here. Uh, and when you pull the chest, pull the cover off of it, uh, it's a big wooden chest um, that has a flying uh, griffin stamped on it, uh, which you recognize as the ho- sigil of House Vid- uh, Vedalus. Uh, and when you force it open, there's a bunch of oblong black canisters. I'm going to pick one up. It's heavy. When I shake it around, can I hear anything inside it? Uh, there's something in it. But it doesn't, like, like rattle. Something? There's something or... definitely in it, yeah. It doesn't rattle or, or exactly slosh, but there's there's only something inside. Is there a top to it? Make another investigation check to see if you could figure out how it, how it opens. Thirteen. So, looking at it for a bit, you do find a seam. Is it, uh, enough of a seam that I could get a thumb against it and get any kind of pressure on? You think it probably twists. Uh. Everyone can see this. Pog, what are you doing, buddy? I don't know. What is this? And I give it a twist as I say that. No, no. There's a a hiss as of pressure being released. Um, And it comes apart in your hand. Uh, And a slimy, wet, strangely shaped creature flops out onto the floor. writhes Writhes a couple of times and then lies still. Uh, I want to poke it with my foot. It. <laughs> what? I, I think. Put it back. I think. I it's... think, I, think it's... I killed it. It's dead, Pog. What is it though? And uh, I want to touch it with my finger. Make a nature check. Oh, that's not good for me. Arya, are you carrying your investigations any further on the can of stack? No. No. Okay. Not natural, but I got a one. <laughs> um, can it's, I? Do it's it? something. Uh, you can, but first your spell completes, and if you want to talk to the rat, you can. Oh, I I do want to talk to a rat. Uh, so once the spell completes, you hear. Let me go! 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 <laughs> no, keep going, Philip. <laughs> if I let you go, will you will you stay here and talk? No! Why would I stay here? There's a monster! <laughs> and it's it's trying to writhe around <laughs> snapping at uh at cow. What, where's the monster? It's got me! Yeah. <laughs> I can ask him to let you go if you answer my questions. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Why would I know? Because you, you live down here? I've never seen um, it. Who? What? Where did the halfling go? Uh, and it jerks its head towards the opening that Pog went through. Okay. Are there traps down here? Uh, rat traps? No. No rat traps down here. Oh, okay. Or people traps? Is that a really big rat trap 
<laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> she takes. Cal, eat. <laughs> um, she she takes it out of Cal's mouth and and sets it down on the ground. And it's just <laughs> yeah. We tried. <laughs> Pog's gonna tap his communicator and say, "Ezri, I have a gross dead thing for you." And then cool, grab it. Let's go. We have to climb out the roof. She's gonna head into the opening. Okay. Uh, you see, as Pog did, a bunch of tables and shelves lined with objects. Where's the halfling? <laughs> you can make an investigation check or a survival check. I choose survival. Well, hmm. I have disadvantage and the first thing I rolled was a one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I rolled a so, 20. We should probably go. So that's uh, a total of seven, Philip. Mm hmm. The guards mm -hmm. are going to be here soon. We need to, need to head out. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Ari. In oh, yes. your mind. No. Stay out. Should have worn your tinfoil you, hat. You hear... I hear someone. Ari attempts to communicate back telepathically. Who do you hear? I think I hear you. Oh, right. We're connected. Where are you? Um, still in the warehouse. Warehouse. Where am I? Who are you? Hmm. I should have figured that out before beginning this conversation. What do you see? Black. Seam. External hinges, I think. Um, okay, um, Ari opens another one of the Kenneth crates. Which one? Um, well, give me, paint me a word picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make an insight. No, that's insight not right. That's not you. You're really, really bad at that. That's not the right thing for this anyway. Um, that's true. <laughs> I'm very, very bad at that. That's not what that's not what insights for. Uh, I guess just give me uh, just give me an intelligence check. I'm gonna push that because okay. I got a thirteen. And now I'm gonna use my point of inspiration I got last nice. session. You know, sometimes oh. you're just not meant to do things. Uh, wow, I do know. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to push one more time. Wait, I rolled a wisdom check for that last for my point of inspiration. Hold uh, on. I I hit the wrong button. Still, magically rolled the same number. So, uh so now this is for my push. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, So you guys know he rolled a 13, 10, 2, 6. <laughs> Should have stuck with the 13. 
Yeah, sorry, I wasn't announcing my rules well. Yeah. I was too frustrated. <laughs> Are you still in warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm I'm in the basement of a warehouse surrounded by rats. If that is uh, scratching. Ari speaks out loud instead of it telepathically. Can you hear my voice? Yep. Audibly? Yes. I'm right not here. You. Not you talking to Several someone else. Several voices. Okay. Muffled. Who are you talking quiet. to? Muffled by what? Muffled. Quiet. Whoa. I mean, Ari, Ari knows how to open the boxes, so he just starts poking eyeballs. So, um... Okay. Do you, do you, uh, need, you need help? I hear, I hear something talking to me from one of these boxes. Uh, eventually you come to a very, very large box. Very large box? Okay. Yeah. And you push it, and it opens, and no shelves are in it. Uh, instead, very carefully packed inside in, you know, a shaped sort of foam container, there is about seven feet of a humanoid automaton of some kind. Uh, like a Warforged, but different in make. Its chassis is not, uh, is not steel there's a lot of bronze and um, other metals that you don't re alloys that you don't recognize, um, and you can see that there are uh, also a number of uh, crystals uh, embedded. There's uh, embedded at various points in the body um, of the of the warforged, and when you um, open it, it shifts its head slightly. Ah. Huh. Hello. This is warehouse. This is a warehouse. We can, um, and Ari extends a hand to help them. Up. It sits up. Okay. <clears throat> um, and looks what around. What is that? Uh, not sure. Totally. Um, this is a new friend I just made. Uh, I. And would you? you all see to those of you that are down here to your great surprise um, that as the as it as they sit up the light hits the bronze and you can see that almost like scroll work running across the chest piece of their chassis there is the uh, jagged strange outline of a dragon mark. Hi, my name's Ari. Um, I'm Pog. Pog. Ari. I don't understand what's happening. Pog. Um this is a this is about to be a very dangerous place. Would Danger. Would you like to come would you like to come with us? To we we have we have a house you can lay low there well. okay e Ezri um we're oh we yes. have a new friend uh we're coming up Pog's slime thing nope different um they don't have a name yet so um it lifts one of its legs and drapes it over and shifts and heaves itself up out of the uh, coffin-like chest and Can stands it up. it climb a rope? God, it's got arms. Can't be worse than me. How much do these uh, cylinders weigh? Three pounds. How many are left in the, the box? Eleven. Okay, I want to carry three of them out with me in my backpack. Okay. Hearing Ezri mention the the slimy thing, um, Shade wants to go check on that because it seemed to mm -hmm. have been living and isn't now. Sure. Uh, you can make a nature roll. I do want to make a nature roll mm -hmm. at disadvantage. Guess what I rolled? 
<laughs> Wild guess. You want to make it a disadvantage? She has to. I have. I so, don't no, want no. to. No. But you express it as you want to. I just, I just ask. No. Oh. Can she use? Oh, can I just express that I don't want tokens? to, and then? That's how D and D works. <laughs> I do, I don't want to get hit this round. Thank you. <laughs> Please and thank you. Um, do you have inspiration <laughs> tokens left? I'll let you spend an inspiration token to to undo her. We had but five, and do. we've only used three. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you can roll with advantage, token. which would cancel. So what was your higher roll? Is that the it 19 was, that I'm looking at? It was a 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so looking at this thing, it seems to have qualities of a variety of creatures but melded into a very, very strange shape. It's kind of an elongated, it's got elong longer hind legs than front legs, um, but it's not like humanoid in proportion. Um, it's clearly got very, very sharp teeth in a sort of reptilian mouth. It and but its tail is all the wrong shape for a reptile uh and its arms are definitely for grasping and have long claws on the ends of them but it's definitely juvenile in some way hmm. and it's just on the ground now i think dead because i'm taking it to esri so i'm holding it's, it while you check it oh it's okay. very dead okay it, it looks as though someone took a bunch of different qualities of animals and uh, melded them into one. Do you know what this is? No. It is... Forbidden alchemy. Not. It, it, it is not natural. Um, it was... It looks... I don't... I will grab some other canisters... I don't want to leave them here. So okay. I should just grab as many. I assume one of you has a pack or a satchel or something. If you want to try, I and have a backpack. Pull, yeah. pull all of them out. You can. Then okay. I'll I'll help Shade and we'll we'll take them all. And I'm um, keeping the dead one because Ezri wanted the dead one. As they're loading up their bag, Ari escorts the Warforge yeah. uh, upstairs. Um, hey, Ezri. Uh, new friend Ezri, new friend Ezri. I was using my, my name. <laughs> new friend. Yes. How tall is the warforge? Seven feet. New friend. This is new <laughs> friend. No, I. I got. They nothing. have a. They they're marked. We need to. Yeah. They look down. Uh, we're we're like you in that regard. Are there are there clothes? You said there was a box of clothes somewhere. Someone that looked through. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I will seven foot tall clothes. I will <laughs> scurry around find and a big look cloak. for some sort of cloak. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, you can find a big cloak. Good thinking. Y'all almost ready down there? They cast it around their shoulders. Yeah, just keep this the hood. This is a highly impractical accessory. It's just to cover up your cover up your yeah, chest. Well, it's gonna now. be a lot less practical if someone sees you. Why? You have seen me. Is this impractical? You, there are. Your kind is not like. All the Warforged... This is a Warforged? Warforged. Do not like War... Forged. Same. Well, I like Warforged. I don't like War. There was was there. Forged. I suppose. Quite a lot of forging. We... Okay. No talk. Just stop talking. We gotta go. Why? Um, the city guard is going to be here very soon. Um, there are some bad people doing bad stuff, so we need to get out. While the are good. we bad people and it's not doing us. bad stuff? No, Sometimes. we're no, not bad people. No, Why we're... must we flee? Because we're not supposed to be here right now. 
some sometimes we, we do things that we we're not supposed are to. bad. We're not. We're going to take you back to our place and then we can discuss what happened here. Okay? Very well. Um, uh, before we go up, Shade, are you, you're still in the basement with me? Yes. Or did you follow straight up? Okay. Um, oh, that's right. We, I wasn't there. Sorry. Are we stealing these? Is this stealing? Yes. So we okay. are bad. So I'm putting this on my back. Do Should we steal anything else? I, no. I think we should steal as much <laughs> as we can. No, because I found you're upstairs. Because we I wish found... to steal. Oh, I'm, you're not upstairs. I'm sorry. <laughs> nope, we are still in the basement, Shade and I. Um, no, I'm sorry. I They're broke that. Steal in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> because we, there's a, a lot of the evidence stuff, and there's a lot of the dragon shards over there. I I also noticed that there were a lot of those. I think if we took some of those, there would still be plenty in the barrel for evidence. Okay. Right. So should right? we? Yeah, I, that's I, that's what I thought. So that's why I was asking if it was a good thought. So, yeah, let's finish filling my bag then. All right, we gotta go. Some... We're gonna fill in the rest of Pog's bag with dragon shards. Be right there. We are yeah. never gonna leave before the guard gets here. It's okay. like it's impossible from a timing standpoint. <laughs> the zombie walks slow. We're fine. The zombie does walk slow. I'm gonna. I'm so gonna say to, I'm gonna say to the the warforged. Good or bad, honestly, if they if anyone else finds you here, they're gonna either make you a slave or take you apart. Hmm, that is bad. That is good. Come with us. Let's go. Let's head up to the roof now, so we can keep an eye on the street to see if we have anybody coming our way. Yeah, like where are the best. Where, Hog Shade? We, yeah. we got right to go. Now. All right, let's go. And assuming yeah. we're done packing the bag, we're headed up the stairs. Just dragon shards falling out of the pockets. <laughs> we can pack a bag. Pockets. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, Shade is 36 hobbling. pounds of, of creep cylinders. I know. No, I have no I'm sorry. Oh yeah, oh, you no, guys we, are yeah, just, all 12. All 12. You're dragging. Pog, how are you going to climb up that rope? Why do we have to go out the rope? You want to run out onto the street? We can't use any of the doors oh. in here. We could use the courtyard, but... Why can't we use the doors? Because they're all trapped. They already know we're here. It might not be but... just an alarm. Okay. Let's go. I agree. Do you require an exit? Yeah. Yes. yes. The Warforge walks over to <laughs> one of the barred windows and puts its hands on the windows, and you see its hands meld into the iron bars, and then... <laughs> yes. New friends. Yeah, awesome. New friend. Okay. I think I I'm think okay that's with it what now. power looks like. Uh, good job. That was good. The the bars shift and reform and it extends its fingers and the bars have essentially melded into its into their arms. That's so rad. <laughs> Th that's awesome. so Thank rad. you. That good job. That was very good. Exit! Let's yes. thank you. Right. Let's go. And they and out. <laughs> Coming. You all, you all climb out. Uh, they see that you, new friend, are injured. Who is it speaking to? The one of you that's dragging yourself across the floor. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! We're talking about shade they, here. They walk over uh, and reach down and pick shade up. And walk shade towards the window, and extend shade out through the window on on their arms. Go was... go gadget arms. Nice of you. I don't I don't need any help. 
I will walk over to Shade <laughs> and take her this bag off of her. Is not it yet? Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> and hand it to the Warforged. <laughs> Carry this. Come this on. this is not an accurate assessment of your current <laughs> function. Ezri, here, uh, uh, here's your dead thing. Shade, we just need to get back to the house and then. Wait, is it? Oh, okay. you didn't put it back in the cylinder. No, I'm just carrying a slimy cord. They climb out the window with you. All right. In <laughs> your shirt pocket, <laughs> all places into a breast pocket. That's where, that's where everything goes. <laughs> that's so gross. So I love gross. It. <laughs> so, Thora, I'm sure you've been listening to this channel the whole time. We're headed back. All right, good. Everything went all right. Uh, we have ticked everything off on the list, so... We uh, also ticked everyone off while we were here. It could have gone better, but mission accomplished. The guards should be here shortly. They watch for the ogre. Ari, and then they look over at Pog uh, and reach out and slap Pog's badge real hard. <laughs> Who is this? We, wow. made a new, we made a new friend, Thora. Um, we made a new friend. There was uh, a marked, there was a marked warforged in the basement. Yeah, we know. Yeah. It's not a thing. <laughs> Don't silence us with that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> you found. Why? The, the, get back very quickly. Yep, yep, we're 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 moving at a decent pace. Shade is got uh, goofed up, so not as fast as we could, but we're gonna get there as quick as we can. Yeah. Screen dissolve. <laughs> to the man. Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah! We have made it. <laughs> so very kind of you to to wipe over the return route <laughs> and let us survive that chaos. <laughs> We were uh, fine. We just touch all the things. <laughs> What's this? You're, you're not wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, that poison, that, that disease that Shade got, it's from this thing in my shirt. <laughs> Probably. So, back at the manor. Um, Thor's going to be so mad. Yep. Uh, why? <laughs> You are Why? gathered in, we'll say, the um, the sort of lounge area upstairs, since I imagine that Shade needs to be recumbent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Warforge is standing against a wall. Can I say I've made it to Flip, my room before returning to the group? Back and forth. Sure. Yeah, it's it's a bit later. Um, okay. Then I put my bag uh, in my room and I've come back out to talk with Thora with uh, one of the cylinders. So Thora has just listened to a report, which I assume was thorough <laughs> and accurate. Yeah. Um, and so there's we did great. No, great. no need for all of us to listen what the to the cylinder. Is why didn't you just put this back in it? Oh, I didn't. I couldn't close it with a hiss again. I don't know how to do that. It. it it's a, by the way, I want those cylinders whenever just, I want them. So no, that's how it went, Laura. Dips. Well, on the whole, I'd say you did probably succeed in the thing that we set out to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Assuming that the watch makes it before whoever that half ogre went for. Yep. The half ogre, probably one of the titans. So oh, yep, that makes sense. Might still be all right, even if the titans get there first. They're not going to be. They're not going to be quick enough on the uptake to scrub the place, and it's extremely unlikely that the bilge rats would have let them in on anything. That halfling. You lost that halfling. There must have been a yeah. secret exit. 
Just ran out of time, I feel like. Well, right, no, it, it, you, you got out, that was the right thing to do. The rest of this, the cylinders and our warforged friend over here, The question is, were they stolen from the house, or did the house find them and was transporting? I mean, our new friend, if either stolen from Kenneth, if Kenneth wanted to bring them into the city. Can I just be forged rather than war forged? Forged. At, forge. At, how about just I mean, forge? We just can forge. call you that, but like, it's forge. not really up this to This is acceptable. Us, but like, everyone, it's kind of. It, well, I do not mind correcting. I will tell people to call you Forge if they call you the wrong thing. I, I mean, if Kenneth wanted to bring Forge into the city, they would have had to have smuggled them. Because I imagine Forge is very much off Kenneth books given the treaties right yes very much so if Kenneth made Forge there were there were a few reports about expeditions into the into the jungle here in Sendrick finding well, of Warforged like beings wandering out of the jungle Okay. Um, there were definitely uh, there was definitely an expedition that uh, I read about that ran into a a giant armor plated um, uh, scorpion that was definitely created in the same manner as a warforged. I uh, want what? to go in the jungle less now. And so there's been some theories about it being. Possibly a, an old cast facility lost out there that's got projects that have escaped. Um, the equipment you found them with I wonder if it's not impossible there's a kind of forge somewhere in the vicinity. Yeah. If there is, I don't know about it and I don't know what they're making. And that's usually alarming to me. Yeah. As for the cylinders, uh, that's just horrifying. Cylinder? There's not... I thought you Uh, got... I brought one out. Okay. Uh, well, that's just horrifying, to be quite honest. I don't know what that is. But it looks mage-bred to me. I'll, uh, I'll study it. So something, yeah, right? Let me know what you know. Let me know what you find out. Something Vedalus has cooked up. That's honestly slightly less concerning, because Vedalus is always cooking up something strange. Um, it's, it's bad. I'm not saying it's good, but it's not new. Forge over here is something new. I don't mean to be rude or skeptical, but we're certain that's actually a mark and not just decor. Well, Very certain. It the, is not normal what it can do with metal. On the way out, it managed to meld with the bars and pull it out. And I mean, it, it might not be powered by the mark, but it certainly seems markish in I mean, power. Did, did we happen to notice a glow on the mark when that happened? Uh, you know, because it's something you'd probably have looked for in that moment, I would say yes, you probably did see the mark on their chest. Okay. Yeah, uh, the glow. mark lit up when, when they were doing the things with the bars, so. Well, that's either a mark or a very, very clever invitation. 
Uh, so which there would be, what, no point at all? R right, no, I can think of no reason why one would want to create war forged, uh, a forge, apologies, um, with an imitation dragon mark. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we just need to wait and see what so, comes of it. Asking a corollary here, there were things from multiple houses down there. Are we thinking that this was stuff stolen from houses, or do we think that these were all smuggling operations for houses? Stealing from houses is extremely dangerous. Uh, as perhaps I should have said earlier, but not not in the case of Forge here. Obviously, that's not theft yeah. because you can't steal people. Um, that's rescue, kidnapping. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, right, yes, and we don't do kidnapping. So this, Dang. this, I suppose, we would call rescuing <laughs> yes. from kidnapping. You didn't want Fine. to be in that box, right, Forge? No, it was dull. <laughs> right. All right. Then rescue, we'll call it. Um. So my guess is this, and we need to confirm it. I'll get with Nat and, and see what strings we can pull. But I would say it's more likely that these are things the houses are trying to smuggle in or out of Stormreach without telling the Stormlords. Yeah. Makes this sense. could be advantageous to us if we play it right. Mm -hmm. Stormlords won't like it. So I put might put a little bit of distance between the Stormlords and the houses. It won't and cause them to take action. They'll probably be pretty... And the houses. I'm saying, sorry, say well, again. And a lot between us and the houses. Well, I mean, we left Maybe. our mark there, and we didn't... We, we liberated Forge here, but we didn't, like, sack the place and steal a bunch of stuff that wasn't necessary to take so the houses shouldn't be concerned with us that's to be hoped um yeah i'm sorry in the moment i would like to know is ari lying or is that ari's perspective that is ari's perspective like he okay. came up with forge before the sticky fingers came out <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when he says that <laughs> and Kind of, I'm gonna just look at Pog briefly, but catch myself <laughs> and wait. Yeah, you did. You did carry Shade's backpack briefly, and so it was definitely a lot heavier than it was going in. Um. Well, I um. I suppose we call that a debriefing. Okay. Yep. Uh, Forge. Um. You know, Forge, I have no idea what you want in terms of quarters. Uh, you're welcome to stay here if that's what you'd like. Um. And we'll try to help you figure out what it is you want to do precisely this is a better warehouse than <laughs> the first yep sounds yes right. um now that the debriefing is done Thora I had a quick question for you um Shade, did you have something? I, I was just we we found some of uh, some of these and then brought them, re rescued them here too. What are these? It's a dragon shard. Mm hmm. Define some. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. My backpack is full. And I have some in my pockets. Yes. 
Okay, so that last point I made maybe isn't applicable. All right. What what do that's, we know about the value of, I, of these? Not a light. They are extensively are valuable. I, yeah. I appreciate that shape. I I appreciate it. I didn't know. I didn't mean to call him. Um, right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Couldn't they help like fund the school? Yeah, we th- we thought uh good stealing and it wasn't bad stealing. <laughs> Do we have any contacts that we could fence them through? Oh, I... Yes, I expect I could find a fence. Um, or that's there's yes. other use for it. The issue was signed the building. I know. Well, there's... A, you want to take them back, Ezri? <laughs> It's not ideal, but it's where we're at. You did. Which house um, were these from? Uh, the Rask. The Rask. Oh, they're just neighbors. That That's not... Uh, yeah. Um, well, we could just go leave it on the doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> I think this can't be helped. Yeah. Uh, we have them, and we should put them to use. Um, that mm-hmm. a dead thing, I suppose, you're welcome to dissect carefully and outside. Um, and you hear a little slight hissing sound, uh, and looking over, you can see that um, Forge has one of the dragon shards um, uh, and is slowly just drawing across the back of their hand with it, and there's a sort of hissing, almost like sparking welding sound to it. Um, What you doing, buddy? uh, And then they turn and snap, uh, and a little ball of fire appears in their hand, uh, and they close it. Yes, these are very useful items. Do that? Uh, she does Can you draw that on me? I oh. and he, they reach out and and press a finger into your skin. I think that it would damage you. Probably. I got lots of scars. <laughs> <laughs> then possibly, I would need to study you to know whether I could. I could do that to an object. Oh. Well, I have an object that you could try. Uh, They look at it. There are already many enchantments wound around that item. I might damage them. Not worth it. (laughs) Very good. Just lost Casey. That's right, I'm about to wrap this up. So, worst case scenario, I'm about to wrap this up. I'll, worst Sorry. case scenario, I'll put a, a, a silly shade looking confused hero forage right there. And <laughs> be amused. Um, well, we can't hear RA without her. Oh, also. that's also true. Well, I'm going to begin to wrap up because that's Adam, the button I was yeah. going to end on anyway. Okay. So, we will stop there with your, your new friend and we'll pick up next week and find out what to make of all brought just brought them all back to the mansion just brought all <laughs> all back to the man that's what we did okay yeah. and we'll see what's up next week once i know what's up um, <laughs> with that uh, in the meantime uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can find links to all of our social media, including our Discord, down in the description. You'll also find a link to Colin's Twitch, where he is sorry, BTR, the O is a zero. While you're down there, I don't know. Dropping like flies. While you're down there, <laughs> hit some of them Much buttons. smaller cast. You know? To bring and, RA and Casey back. <laughs> engagement and, and liking and sharing and subscribing. And all the other, just any buttons you want down there. Like other people's comments. Those are fun buttons, too. You know, do do the things. Oh, 
Boy, I don't, I, my head is everywhere. Y'all ever right seen D- this for a while? Y'all ever seen D and D Battle Royal? I, part of me wants to close my browser just to continue the bit <laughs> of us just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, new episodes of Kyber Shards every Monday. New episodes of Kyber Shards answers on Fridays. You can submit questions on our Discord or down in the comments. In the meantime, this has been Kyber Shards. Thanks for rolling with us. <laughs>